Go ahead, Coach Painter. Yeah, hey, Matt, just their shooting from three-point range, was that defensive lapses on your part, or you just get buzzsawed by one of those nights from the opponent, or how would you kind of classify it? Yeah. Um, I'll know better when I watch the tape. But, you know, the, the ones that okay he hits in the second half, like, like nobody's there. Like, you, you're, you're just giving him those – you're just wide open. Like, no one's rotating to him. It's, you know, one's a drift pass, I think, and the other one's just a simple help and recover, dribble drive when a guy over helps when his man's high and he helps low. And, um, you know, we, we, we were in a good position there in the second half, and they, they make two or three plays in a row. And, you know, I thought Mathis made a couple tough ones. You know, you got to give him credit. But I just thought that the sense of urgency, you know, from our guys, with you know, we knew there were more drivers than shooters, both of them. But we also talked about how Mathis was streaky, don't let him get going. You know, obviously, Jacob Young and Geo Baker, the guys that score, you know, and break you down off the dribble. But, you know, Mathis is a good player. You know, he's an experienced player and a guy that can get to the rim and make plays and bulldog his way in there. But he also, when he gets hot, you know, can knock down some shots. And, you know, I was more concerned with just our inability to contain the dribble, especially when there was nothing going on. Like there wasn't a, a ball screen or a rub or anything. Just guys just getting took off the bounce. And, you know, we, we have to do a better job keeping the ball, you know, guys knowing that, you know, if I do get beat, I'm not going to get beat, you know, to the middle. I'm going to keep the ball out of the middle, you know, force it more to my help where they might get an angle. They might get an advantage, but it's going into our help and it's along the baseline instead of right in the middle of the court. And, um, you know, we just don't, as a team, we're just, you know, we're not there right now. We have to do a much better job guarding the basketball than we did tonight. Is that on the individuals or is that on the collective effort in terms of helping? I think it's on the individuals. I think it's, it, it, you know, when you individually guard and you like knock things out and, and uh, you do a good job and then it just gets later in the shot clock and you're just one-on-one -on -one and, you know, you have to understand, you know, if I do get beat where it goes, but sometimes when you get out in the middle of the floor and you get out a lot of space, you know, we want to shrink the court and help some guys. And a couple of those times, you know, we made them make some tough shots and keep the ball in the pain. We live with that. But when they're just getting whipped off the bounce and they're just getting right to the middle, now we really have to overhelp. And then it just gets everybody in a rotation. And, uh, you know, just have to do a better job containing the dribble. Just the 23-6 to six run between the end of the first half and the start of the second, what mm -hmm. was working there other, other than Isaiah making shots, obviously? Yeah, well, I thought, you know, Isaiah made a couple shots, you know, got looks and uh, really gave us a spark on the offensive end. And I thought that was good. We had some other guys step up and make some plays. And, you know, just had a good run. You know, that group of guys that got us there in the end of the first half, and we stayed with most of them, um, you know, to start the second half. We just, you know, give us a give us that punch, and they did. And I thought that, you know, really helped us. And, you know, we just had to do a better job of maintaining it and just didn't have a great combination tonight of offense and defense. You know, we'd, we'd have maybe a guy do some good things for us offensively, then he'd struggle defensively. So you never could get, you know, the group of guys that you wanted. I thought Travion, obviously – did some good things, you know, offensively, and you know we thought we had an advantage there. We did, and uh, but we just we just couldn't get enough consistent play across the board um, on both ends of the court. Just the effort you got from Travion, obviously, that's your expectation level for him, right? That's kind of the standard. Well, yeah. What would he get? Twenty-one and twelve. That'd be good numbers. Yeah. You know, average is fourteen and ten. Um, so, but we got some. You know, he shot good shots. I mean, think about think about the shots two shots that he missed like he when he goes to the well and goes right at people miles johnson's a big guy good defensive player i think he leads our league in blocks um so it's like you know he's a really good player you know but he when he takes his time and he's patient and uh you know gets to his move you know he, he's an effective player and as you see tonight you know he, he did some good things for us i just after you're up five i think they hit a three and then they get the turnover for the dunk the other way was there Anything you put yeah. your finger on after that point that kind of went sideways on you that they kind of kind of went. Well, it's not like beat us by twenty then. Like you know, it's just in a possession game, and they made a couple more shots than we did. And you know, I, I I'm gonna go and look at just the the breakdowns defensively. Yeah. You know, uh, when they get the steal and the dunk, it's because you know we don't screen, and the guy with the ball doesn't recognize it doesn't happen. He streaks and he just throws it, and um, you know, it's just a, it's a bad turnover. Um, but it was bad execution. The guy didn't screen, and the guy with the ball, you know, he's got to recognize that and, 
hey, I can't throw this ball here. This guy's not going to be open. He doesn't recognize it. But, no, I, I don't think there's anything. You know, we, we just couldn't get enough stops, you know, in, in, in the second half, especially after, you know, we put ourselves in a position to win the game. I'm good. Thank you, Matt. Thanks. Carmen. Matt, does this go back to what you were talking about yesterday with not having a defensive foundation yet with this group? Yeah, without question. Without question. Like, you, you have, we have to be better than this. Like, if you expect to beat a quality team, you know, I know they don't have their best player, but if you expect to go on the road and beat a quality team, um, top 15 team or whatever they're ranked, um, you know, you just got to be better on the defensive end. You got to make it harder than what we did. And, uh, you know, if you got some quickness to us, you got some, you know, if you can move laterally, you know, just have some pride, move your feet, keep the ball in front of you. You know, we work on it. We put a lot of time into it. It's just, you know, guys have to, you know, be more demanding of themselves and keep the ball in front of them. You know, we, we backed it up. So it wasn't like, you know, we normally go up and pick up the ball and pressure the ball. And right away when Jacob Young got going and Geo Baker got going a couple of times, that wasn't going to work. That absolutely was not going to work, especially with a really big, you know, center right there as, as they're just attacking, even though I thought Zach did some good things when he was in and just showing his hands and getting big and making them make tough runners. So we just backed up. And so with that, you know, we, we were just trying to keep the ball out of the paint. We didn't want them to have as much space as they did to start the game. And I thought that helped to a degree, but, you know, we just we weren't good enough. How much is this a step back in trying to build that foundation? Well, it's not a step back. It's a day, you know. It's not like your house burned down. You know what I mean? you got to build your old house back. Like you just keep working on it. We're, we weren't very good in the beginning. And like, if we'd have done a great job, it wasn't like we arrived. You know, you just work on them every day. You just put in the time. And you keep working, and it doesn't come right away. It just doesn't. You know, it's just one of those things where you have to be better, and you got to put time into it. You got to, you know, watch film and, and, and see your mistakes and you know the things that you're struggling with. You you just keep working at it. I know I'm being redundant there, but it's just it, it, that's just how it is. Why did Eric struggle so much, especially in that first half? Yeah, just you know, didn't play well. wasn't ready to shoot a couple times. Um, you know, just didn't play well. You know, the guy who played behind him played better. And so, you know, we stuck with him and played him more. And, uh, you know, has to be ready to play. And, you know, Eric's a good player. But you have to be productive. And, and what kind of game starts? You got to be ready. You got to be ready on both ends. You got to help us. You got to lead us. And when you don't, somebody else plays better than you. That person's going to play. It's pretty simple. And what can a game like this do for Isaiah as you get a little bit deeper in this yeah. defense season? Well, it's twofold for him. You know, he – but the way he played on the offensive end kept him in the game. But, like, defensively, you know, we didn't have too many guys out there that, you know, did a good job on the defensive end, especially our guards. You know, and so, like, you know, we, we got to get some guys to establish themselves as, as productive players on both ends. And so, but, no, there's any time you make shots and you make some plays, and that, that can, you know, build your confidence and hopefully it can help your all-around game. All righty. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else for Coach Painter? Thank you.